Hey, my name is Ralph. I'm a Flex Film, and I'm going to show you today how to choose the right ceramic film for maximum performance for your customers. Have you ever heard of the IR spike? The IR spike can be very misleading. You see, some ceramic window films perform very well only at a certain part of the spectrum. And these little meters right here may be designed to take a snapshot of that favorable location, which may mislead you into thinking that it might perform better than another film that might have a broad band IR rejection. <laughs> Okay, I have two ceramic films. One ceramic film's advertised at about 82% IR rejection. The other one's advertised at about 70 to 72%. I want to show you what this meter uh, says that it does just to make a point. This particular one right here only allows 18 or 19 percent of the IR to pass through. So we can say this one's about an 80, 82 percent IR rejection. This one right here. That's about 26%, so we, we can say it's about a 74% IR rejection. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the IR spike and the broadband IR rejection and let you make the decision on which one you would like to have for your customer. Okay, in the presence of heat, this little heat sheet right here turns colors. So I've got it in front of this IR bulb, which will blast IR and heat at our window film to show you how it feels. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly what it'll do in front of this heat sheet. See how fast that is? There's a lot of heat coming out of this box. Okay, now I'm going to take both these ceramic film samples and I'm going to place them in front of the heat lamp and let's see what happens. First of all, this is the one that blocked out about 82%. High number. Let's see what it does. It's pretty good. But there it goes. You see the heat is coming strong. Most of the card fills completely up. Okay. This one right here was the one with the lower number on it. It was, um, it was about 74. There's almost a 10% difference here. Let's see what it does on the heat lamp. I don't know, you tell me, which one would you like on your car? I think I'd take the one with the lower number. I'm about to explain what just happened. Okay, so what just happened? I'll tell you what just happened. IR spike versus broadband IR rejection. You see, you can play around with these meters all day long and get snapshots at different wavelengths to favor wherever the film spikes. Or you can trust your hand and put it in front of an IR source and fill the whole spectrum and know whether the film's simply working or not. So anyway, you can sit here and play with meters all day long or maybe you can start flexing. <laughs>